The reason why I'm standing here is that um, Yaawa Yaus is one of the young entrepreneurs that I mentor. Two years ago, I set up um, an entrepreneurial network of young entrepreneurs, Gambian entrepreneurs. As I grow, grew older in the field of entrepreneurship, I thought of what I would do whilst I planned my retirement. And this was one of the things I chose. So I have probably over 20 young Gambian entrepreneurs that I mentor, and Yaos is part of it. She came to see me about, I think, three months ago or so at my house while she was planning this event, and obviously wanted Tough Africa to be a sponsor. And we had a great chat about this. I gave him a lot, shared my experience, and I revealed the secret to her as she was fashioning for cancer. I told her that I am a cancer survivor. I got diagnosed with cancer, <laughs> prostate cancer, about 10 years ago. So I, th I told her that, you know what, I mean, um, cancer, um, there's no stigma in cancer. It can happen to anybody. And um, very short, I'll tell you how it all went. I went for my normal screening. I didn't have any symptom whatsoever. I do have my screening every year. And my doctor somehow threw a PSA with, with men with PSA, they do a PSA. And my PSA was above normal. But then at, hap at times it happens. I mean, African men, Afro-Caribbean men, I'm sure my, the doctors will, will tell you this. Um, uh, Afro-Caribbean men, as they reach probably the age of 50, going to 60 or 70, their prostate enlarge. Actually, now it's getting worse. I mean, young, very young people. I've seen people at the age of 30 who has had prostate cancer. So um, I was tested. In some tests, very advanced tests, test, it was negative. They did, so they ha finally had to do a biopsy. When they do a biopsy, normally they take four samples. So the guy went in and took eight. And out of the eight, only one of them came positive. So the doctor told me, Mustafa, I'm sorry, but you have prostate cancer. So obviously, I asked for all the options that I had. And finally, cutting a long story short, I had to do a surgery. And the surgery took about three hours. So the reason why I'm here today is just to create that awareness. I mean, I think the rate that women get breast cancer is the same as the way men get prostate cancer. I have known about probably four of very close friends who also have been diagnosed and treated with this. Actually, my, 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 my surgery was done in London at the prostate center. And um, the specialist who did it told me that if you lived in London, I will get you to be doing some counseling. I mean, there's no stigma in this. I mean, cancer is widespread. Um, over the past um, um, maybe three, four months or so, I have seen people who are quite close who's been diagnosed with some sort of cancer. So it's rampant. So therefore, whilst we congratulate Yaos on this laudable initiative, as she celebrates um, uh, her 10th year in fashion, I would like to encourage all of you who are there and your relatives to exploit this and be tested tomorrow. I think um, um, it is said in English that a stick in time saves time. Saves nice, is it? Nice. So please, um, um, that's the reason why I'm here. Uh, we have a surprise for for Yaos as a member of our group. Um, uh, Alpha, I don't know whether we will leave this to the heat of the night. So that's why I'm here. So I appeal to all of you and anybody you can bring along. Um, cancer has no age. Um, I think about two weeks ago, my daughter told me that a daughter of her friend, a toddler was diagnosed with, with cancer. I know a friend of my in-law who's been diagnosed with cancer, liver cancer. So it's around. And there's nothing to be, to be scared of. All you need to do is to be, early, to be tested early. And if you are lucky, you'll be treated. So thank you very much for your time.